I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto gym badges, but you'd better, but you'd better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. This is the battle against Leader Misty, Gym Leader Misty. She's gonna send out first her Golduck. I don't have the moves memorized like I normally should, so now they're gonna appear on the side. Sorry, I for actually forgot to prepare for Misty's Gym Battle. Sorry for this, so, uh, Golduck is level 42, water type, not psychic as many people would assume. And, um, so there's its moves on the side. You saw Surf as one of its moves already. And probably no Slash. I have Executor up front since it's going to be the not the strongest against it, it's just... This, this water type moves are not going to affect Executor unless she has water, I mean ice type moves. This gym shouldn't be pretty, shouldn't be hard at all. We've already practically got one Pokemon down now. Alright, next up is Lapras, and I am going to switch for this one because it probably does have water type moves. I'm going to switch over to Piloswine for this part. I think it's the only one that won't be affected by ice type or water type moves. I could go to Feraligator, but I don't feel Feraligator would actually take this on. And I'm just going to use Earthquake on this thing. Because I think it'll have some weakness to Earth. Okay, never mind, it doesn't have a weakness to Earthquake. Surf's probably going to do a lot of damage now that I think about it, because I have a weakness. Palace Mine has a weakness to ground type moves, to water type moves. Yep. Should have thought this one through. It survived, so I'm just going to get in another Earthquake right here. And then bring in for Alligator for a slash, unless this is a critical hit. And Lapras is water, water slash ice. I wonder how it's ice type. It's kind of weird. But I'm not going to argue with that, I'm just going to slash this thing. I'm just going to keep for for alligator, excuse me, for alligator out here for this part. Though I probably should use Slash. Slash will probably do a lot more damage. And this thing knows Amnesia, which means the special defense is going to go up. But we'll just use physical attacks on you. Last up on the roster is Starmie. Starmie is a water psychic type Pokemon, level 47. Let's just slash this thing. That shouldn't do a lot of damage, even though it gets a bonus type attack because it's water type, which I actually never knew occurred in Pokemon games. You get an attack type bonus because you are the same if the move you're using is the same type as you are, and now I'm confused, which is going to prolong this battle even longer. Prolong it even, prolong it even longer? Is that it? I don't know. Same type attack bonus. Same type attack bonus. 
I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Not very effective, but I lost. I mean, I didn't lose the entire battle. Now I'm gonna send out Haunter. Hopefully, it could do some damage with Shadow Ball. And hopefully, Surf doesn't do a lot, because Haunter usually has low defense. Hunter does have a low defense, and its defense won't get any much higher. I'm, I'm the only one who struggles with these battles. Chugga Conroy just sweeps through these battles like it's nothing. Let's just extreme speed it and get it out of here. Are there many strong trainers in Johto's, like you I mean? I'm going to travel one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. And that basically does it for Cerulean City. So, on the next Pokemon Crystal Kanto Journeys, we're going to head down to Saffron City, do a few things there that we didn't do last episode, and battle Sabrina. I'd say that we're going through this pretty fast, so, um... Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, let's go back to Saffron City. Back here in Saffron City, go back to Copycat's house, and yay, that's my Clefairy Polka Doll. See the tear where the right, where the tear, where the, where the tear, where the right leg, on the right leg, the stone on, that's proof. Okay, here's the magnet train pass. This is nothing that you really need, it's just a little side thing. Uh, you could take it to the magnet train, and you can go to Goldenrod City. So now... What's the next thing that we're going to do here in Saffron City? Well, we have, already, we have already explored it, so the next thing that we're going to do is take on the gym. But really quickly, in here, this is just where the dojo or karate king was, but here you can pick up a focus band from right here, and that's all that you can do here now. And now here is the gym.